Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to perform mathematical calculations on variables and how to use logical operators like AND, OR, NOT in the Power Automate desktop. So let's get it started. So to learn how we can perform mathematical calculations on variables First, first of all what we will do is we will take set variable action and here then we will change the variable name as number 1 and the value that I will assign is let's say 5 and I will also drag and drop another set variable action and do change the variable name as number 2 and let's set the value as 3 okay so now let's say I want to add these two variables so to add these two variables and to display this message I will use display message action okay and here you can give the title let's say result of the message box and in the message to display I can uh, say that okay I want to add the number 1 plus number 2 so as you can see that variables in the power automates uh, are declared using the percentage sign so it will have in the beginning percentage sign in the beginning of the variable name and at the end of it but here when we are going to add two variables in that case we will not use beginning and end uh, for each variable beginning and end of percentage sign for each variable instead we will use only one uh, beginning and end percentage sign okay and inside that we will just put the variable names okay let's say I have put number one and number two and these two are the variable names okay and then I will click on save so if I run this I should get the value as 8 so the message will be displayed as 8 right and if you want to if you want to subtract it you can just put minus and click on save run the bot you will see the result will be 2 okay and if you want to multiply it you can just put the asterisk so value will be 15 okay and let's say if you want to divide these two variables you can just replace it with the forward slash and then run the bot so you will see the result here uh, after the division right same way if you want to you know put the priority so you can also use the brackets and all so let's say first you want to add these two variables you know 5 3 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and then you want to multiply it you can just put into 2 so you will see 30 as a result right so what has happened it has first added 5 plus 3 5 3 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and then multiplied multiplied by 2 then the result is 16 right same way if you want to uh, so let's say so if you don't put the brackets then you will see the different result right so let's just run it remove the brackets and click on save and then run it you will see the different result right so the calculation is just going that way so let's say you 
I mean you are directly showing the result in the display message so let's say you want to use a variable where you will first perform all, all your calculations and then just use that variable which will be holding the result of the calculation and then display it in the display message so let's say I will just name it as result variable name is result here and then so let's say you want to add number one plus number two right and then you will come and open the display message action and replace these uh, variables with only with the result right so you will get the same output here as well So you will see that what is running and you will see the result as 8 correct so now this is about the calculations how you can perform on the variables okay so now we will learn how we can uh, use the logical operators like and or and not right so let's say I want to check that so in the display message I'm saying that uh, okay so first let's use the if condition so we will check we will take the if action from the actions pane and in the here we will specify here we will specify that okay if number one is equal to 5 and and then number 2 is equal to 3 and in the second operand we will specify that true okay so this is how you uh, specify the logical operators and or and not right so here we are saying that number 1 is equal to 5 and number 2 is equal to 3 then we are saying that So let's say here we can say that okay both the both the conditions are true both the conditions are true right and in the else block we can say we will just take the else action and drag it just below the display message and we will copy this uh, display message and just paste it here we can say both the conditions are not true right and let's run the bot so you can see that it says that both the conditions are true right and let's say if I am saying here that okay if number 1 is equal to 5 or number 2 is equal to 10 then also it will be true right one condition is true you can click on save and open the display message and change the value here in the display message click on save and run the bot right the reason behind that it is coming into one condition is true because the number one is is exactly five right and that is why it is saying it is true so let's say if I change this value to let's say 6 and let's just make it at least one condition is not true that will make much more sense and click on save and then run the bot
right and same thing we can do for not we can say if number one is equal to five so not you will use it in different way okay so let's say if i put as not equal to five then it should go to l in the first block right because it is exactly not five the value is six and that is why it has come into the if block and show the result so this is how you can perform the mathematical calculations and use the logical operators in power automate desktop if you like this video please like it and if you have any question please post it in the comment section and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching have a great day